It is almost time to go. You guys have been great fun. Um, there, I mean, I don't want to leave you all depressed and shit. So, <laughs> I laugh and now I want to kill you. Oh, you put out a laugh. Yeah, good on you, mate. And I love it. I love it. I love a good interjection. <laughs> We know. Yeah, good. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say a lot. <laughs> but it's, uh, I, look, I like to watch a lot of television. I'm a big fan of television. Um, television is my friend. You're on it. <laughs> <laughs> I am. You're on it. I am. And I'm still bewildered by that, to be honest. You know, like, oh, so I really, really shouldn't be. What? So hey? It's all work. Oh, no, well, no, no, that's all right. He's all right, mate. You have your, you go if you like. Do you not watch the other side thing? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way his brain just fucking petered out. <laughs> Gambling is it? Are you a gambler? Anyone here a big gambler? Gamble being, you know, the idea that you're not going to win. <laughs> There's pokies in this country. You a big fan of the pokey? I know one. Well. Right. <laughs> Good for you. I know one too. Maybe we know the same one. Wouldn't that be funny? Six degrees of separation through a poker machine. See, I, 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 I don't mind so much. If you want to gamble again, it's a freedom of choice thing. It's like the drug thing. If you want to gamble, that's fine. But don't come crying to me when you've got no money left, no family left, nothing left. Because you're not going to win. It's, that's the, why the guys that own the gambling companies are rich, and you're not. Because he does. It's like a heroin addict. You don't see the fucking Len Ainsworth, who owns the poker machine. You don't see him down like it. Well, you know, Lenny wants you to put fucking everything through it. <laughs> when was the last time you walked through the casino at 3 in the morning there was J.D. Packer going, There you go! Just fucking give it a crack. I've heard this will fucking be a winner. <laughs> you know, I don't mind so much, but please, it's the lying, it's the deceit. It's the pokies companies should come to the party and take some responsibility, be a little bit more, a little bit more honest with it. Like calling them the Queen of the Nile. I mean, who are they trying to kid? Queen of the Nile? You can't do that. Pot of gold. Treasure hunt. Gold rush. Queen, queen of the night. You stumble into a club at two in the morning and you're standing going, hey, look, look over there. <laughs> look, over, look over there, Neville. And that's the fucking queen of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know she drank it. <laughs> She's rich. She'll, she won't take my money because she doesn't need it. She's the queen of the night. <laughs> Yeah. I wouldn't mind so much if they gave the pokies names that reflected what they did. Like you go in there at 2 in the morning, what are you going to do with your 50 bucks? I'm going to put it in pension pinches. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I'm going to go and play What Happened to Christmas Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Can we go home now? Mum, I'm cold and tired is reserved. <laughs> That's the insidious march, what are you?